50 states, one video, and only one state can come out on top. Will it be yours? Find out as we ruthlessly rank all 50 states from worst to best. Based on their economy, safety, cost of living, schools, quality of life, and my opinion. Three, two, one, let the games begin. Number 50, Louisiana. Not even all the hurricanes can wash away the worst pollution levels in the country, but you know what they can wash away? Any infrastructure Louisiana does manage to build when it's not being robbed by its own government, as it's by far the most corrupt state. So it shouldn't be a shock that it's also the third most dangerous state, since there's virtually no economic opportunity. Number 49, Mississippi. Don't get cocky, Mississippi. The only reason you're not dead last is because you know you're worth less is you're the cheapest state. I mean, at least Louisiana has New Orleans, while all you have is 94% of the farm-raised catfish in the U.S. Oh, and also the lowest incomes, highest poverty rate, highest obesity rate, worst health care, and lowest life expectancy. Number 48. New Mexico. Despite New Mexico being the most dangerous state and having the worst schooling system and a terrible economy, the median home still costs 260 grand, which is a lot more than the other states that suck this bad. But if you've ever driven through Taos or Georgia O'Keeffe country, I'm sure you can see why. Number 47, Arkansas. For being called the land of opportunity, Arkansas sure doesn't have much of it with the third lowest income, second worst healthcare, fifth highest poverty rate, and fourth highest crime rate. But considering many Arkansans take imitating the calls of waterfowl more seriously than improving the quality of life, I'm not surprised. And yeah, the World Championship Duck Calling Contest takes place in Stuttgart, and the duck callers go hard. Number 46, Alabama. The most exciting thing to do in Alabama is read its 389,000 word constitution, which is more than 85 times the length of the U.S. Constitution. Well, unless you live in Huntsville, which hopefully you do, because living anywhere else in the state means you're probably in poverty, surrounded by crime, and gonna die before you turn 75. Number 45, Kentucky. Sure, Kentucky may have the fourth highest poverty rate and third worst economic outlook of any state, but hey, at least there are two barrels of bourbon for every Kentuckian and $150 million is wagered on the Kentucky Derby each year. Priorities, am I right? Number 44, West Virginia. After being decimated for decades by the failing coal industry, things may be looking up for West Virginia. Sure, it still has the fourth worst healthcare, fifth worst schools, third worst economy, the worst infrastructure, and second lowest median household income at just $48,800. But those are huge improvements from where the state was just five years ago. Not to mention, it's the second cheapest state, and the scenery is stunning. Number 43. Tennessee. Loved by bachelorettes, nature enthusiasts, and country music fans alike, Tennessee sure is fun to visit. But not everything is sweet like Tennessee whiskey, as the healthcare and education systems are abysmal, the cost of living is skyrocketing, and it has the third highest violent crime rate. In fact, Memphis just passed St. Louis for the title of most dangerous city in America. And while the economy, particularly in Nashville, is growing fast, wages are still nearly 10 grand below the national average. Average. Number 42, Oklahoma. What can I say? Okay is okay. I guess. I mean, the healthcare, schools, crime, and poverty are all bad, but at least the infrastructure and economy are decent, and it's dirt cheap. Although, with most of the state looking like this, it's not exactly prime real estate. Number 41, South Carolina. South Carolina was the second most moved to state in 2020, but it shouldn't let that get to its head because it's still the fifth most dangerous state. And while Charleston's a cool historic city with a thriving economy, it's also gotten pretty expensive, and the rest of the state is really struggling. So those were the 10 worst states. But before we get to the other 40, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And we're also going to give an honorable mention to Washington, D.C., because if it were a state, it'd be right here on the list. Sure, it'd have by far the highest incomes, but it'd also be by far the most dangerous state and eight times more politically corrupt than Louisiana. But it's not a state, well, yet. So here's real number 40. Number 40, 
Missouri. Okay, so Missouri is home to four of the 10 most dangerous U.S. cities, including St. Louis, the murder capital of America. But outside of the crime, which is centralized to a few bad areas, Missouri is pretty underrated. The school's infrastructure and economy are all above average, and there are so many free attractions. Number 39. Nevada. COVID decimated Nevada's largely tourism-based economy, and tourism still hasn't returned to those pre-pandemic numbers. The unemployment rate is the highest in the nation, and while the economy is growing fast and starting to diversify, all the Californians moving in are also driving up the cost of living. Number 38. Arizona. Good luck enjoying Arizona's 300 sunny days a year or 22 beautiful national parks and monuments because heat stroke will have you melting faster than an ice cube in boiling water and allergies and pollution will have you sneezing yourself right back inside of your beige cookie cutter Arizona home. Oh wait, isn't that one your neighbor's house? Oh no, they just look the same. Number 37. Pennsylvania, a Rust Belt state that once played a vital role in building cars, now destroys them with some of the worst potholes in infrastructure. But hey, while it's not safe for vehicles, at least Pennsylvania is one of the safest states. Although maybe not for your bank account, since the economy's been struggling for years and meth and opioid addiction is rampant. Number 36, Michigan. Outside of Detroit, Flint, and Lansing, Michigan isn't terrible. There's gorgeous forests and shoreline on four great lakes, the Upper Peninsula is magical, and it's home to some of the cutest small towns in the nation. Plus, it's really affordable. Number 35. Ohio. 60 years ago, Ohio, Michigan, and Pennsylvania were some of the best states to live in. But I guess that just shows the dark side of the American dream. Ohio has lost hundreds of thousands of good paying jobs over the past 30 years, which has resulted in places like Cleveland and Dayton seeing poverty rates over 30%. But at least real estate's cheap and Columbus's economy is thriving. Number 34. Alaska. Statistically, Alaska should be in the bottom 10. It has the highest filing crime rate, second worst public schools, gets frigid cold, and the cost of living is through the roof. But the last frontier makes up for it with stunning views, great wages, and the fact that you get paid to live here. Not to mention, more Alaskans claim their state to be the best than any other state's residents, so that's got to count for something, right? Number 33. Montana. While Alaska may be the most beautiful state, Montana isn't far behind, and its infrastructure is a heck of a lot better. The Big Sky State is still pretty expensive, however, as many rich West Coasters buy second homes here. So even though the economy is the seventh fastest growing, wages aren't even close to keeping up with the cost of living. Number 32. Indiana. If you're a yodeler, Indiana is not the place for you. It's flat, boring, and the pollution is so bad that you wouldn't even be able to get a yodel in before the atmosphere yodeled you into a fit of coughs. Now, if you're not a yodeler, there are worse places to live, but there are also 31 better places to live. Number 31. Illinois. More Illinoisans claim their state to be the worst than any other state's residents, and it shows, as they had the third highest rate of outbound migration in 2020. But across the board, the prairie state is pretty average, and Chicago is one of the most affordable big cities. Number 30. Texas. Texas is on track to be the largest state by population in 2050. And for good reason. The cities are mostly affordable, have tons of amenities, and their economies are booming. But the rural parts of the state have practically no economic opportunity. Not to mention the healthcare, safety, education, and air and water quality are all well below average too. Number 29, California. Traffic, homelessness, and the high cost of living are just some of the many reasons people are leaving California. But the perfect weather, incredible economy, and breathtaking scenery are also just some of the many reasons people are staying. Or maybe they're just trying to get famous. In which case, I hate to break it to you, Ashley, with an eye, but it's probably not going to happen. Number 28, Delaware. 
Delaware might be the most forgettable state. Sure, there's nice beaches, but they're cold in the winter and overcrowded in the summer. And the rest of the state is more boring than Elon Musk's subterranean business ambitions. Number 27, South Dakota. You probably wouldn't expect a place in the middle of nowhere to be as economically diverse and self-dependent as South Dakota. But with Sioux Falls' thriving economy, no state income tax, great infrastructure, and excellent affordability, the Mount Rushmore state is the second most fiscally stable. Plus, the Black Hills and Badlands are simply magical. Number 26, Oregon. I lived here for a bit, and trust me, from the coastline to Crater Lake to Mount Hood, Oregon is stunning. And the economy and infrastructure are exceptional. The terrible education, pollution, property crime, and high cost of living do put a damper on things, though. As does the constant drizzle and gray skies if you live near Portland. Speaking of which, no, it is not just an Antifa overrun hellhole. It's got problems, but the media really overplays them. Number 25. Kansas. Kansas is smack dab in the middle of the country and smack dab in the middle of our list. It's pretty much the most average state. The end. Number 24. North Dakota. I might have spoken too soon about Kansas because North Dakota is even more uneventful. It's just as flat and boring, and on top of that, it gets really cold, which I guess at least keeps the cost of living low because no one wants to live here. Well, except for oil people because there's tons of it and oil pays well. Number 23. Georgia. Does Georgia have exceptional infrastructure, great affordability, and a fast-growing economy? Yeah, but not everything is peach in the peach state because the healthcare, education, and crime rates could use some serious improvements. But hey, at least the Braves just won the World Series. Number 22. Rhode Island. Rhode Island may be the smallest state by total area, but it's not about the size. It's about the motion of the um, air quality. Yeah, the air quality is great. And it's also the eighth safest state with the fourth best healthcare and an above average economy. Sure, it's probably the worst state in New England, but considering how great most New England states are, that's really not that bad. Number 21. Wyoming. While Wyoming is over 80 times the size of Rhode Island, Rhode Island has nearly twice as many people. Well, that is if anyone even lives here at all. I mean, does Wyoming really exist? There's no real cities, and it's over 100 miles between many of the closest towns. But if it does exist, it's the most tax-friendly state, and the great schools, low crime, beautiful nature, and affordable cost of living make it a pretty decent place to live. Allegedly. Number 20. New York. Wait, what? New York sucks! How the heck is it in the top 20? Well, haters gonna hate, but despite its flaws, there's no place like it. The city is a melting pot of everything, and upstate is affordable and gorgeous. Number 19. New Jersey. New York's less interesting, slightly richer, but mostly suburban neighbor would probably seem a lot cooler if it weren't so close to the big city. Sure, the infrastructure sucks and taxes are high, but New Jersey also has the third highest wages, fourth lowest poverty rate, fourth best healthcare, second best schools, and fifth lowest crime rate. Number 18. Wisconsin. Wisconsin may be cold, but that doesn't stop the residents of America's Dairyland from eating more ice cream than any other state. I mean, dairy and beer is the way of life here. And speaking of beer, it's kind of a problem with seven of America's 10 drunkest cities being in the state. But that and the fact that it looks like this for half the year are pretty much the only cons about the place. Number 17. Florida. Brr! Most Wisconsinites probably wish they were in Florida this time of year, but great weather and beautiful beaches aren't the only reason people are moving here in droves. Florida's affordable, the schools are great, the economy is the ninth fastest growing, and the quality of life is tropically self-explanatory. Number 16. Iowa. Not to sound corny, but if you need a fresh start, Iowa is the place to go. Wages are good, crime is low, and it's soy cheap here that it actually ranked fifth on our cheapest states to live in for 2021 video. Number 15, Connecticut. While Iowa is a great place to save money, Connecticut is a great place to make money, with the nation's sixth highest median household income at 79 grand. It's also got the third best public schools, third best healthcare, and third lowest violent crime rate. 
But there is a huge division of wealth between the affluent suburbs and impoverished cities. Number 14. North Carolina. North Carolina's economy is skyrocketing in cities like Raleigh and Charlotte, but the rural parts are really lagging behind, which holds the whole state back with an overall poverty rate of 13.6%. At least the people, education system, and outdoor activities are outstanding, though. Number 13. Maine. The rocky cliffs lining the coast and dense forests hugging the mountains and lakes easily make the land of lobsters the most beautiful state east of the Mississippi. And Maine's also by far the safest state, which makes sense since it's practically in Canada where everyone is suspiciously nice. Number 12. Maryland. Maryland is home to the highest wages in the nation, with a median household income of $86,750, which has resulted in the fifth lowest poverty rate of just 9.1%. But that doesn't tell the whole story, because while the D.C. and Baltimore suburbs are thriving, the rest of the state isn't in the best shape. Number 11. Virginia. The other state bordering D.C. might not have as high incomes as Maryland, but it's also a lot cheaper and safer with the sixth lowest violent crime rate. Not to mention, Virginia's got incredible schools, healthcare, opportunity, history, and nature. I honestly don't know how it's still a virgin, because it goes hard. Number 10. Nebraska. Yes, it's boring, but stats don't lie, and neither does the lowest unemployment rate in the nation. And with a booming economy, excellent affordability, and great schools, Nebraska really is the good life. Number 9. Hawaii. A gallon of milk may cost five bucks, and home values are by far the most expensive of any state, but can you really put a price on paradise? Well, considering Hawaii is home to the best healthcare system, healthiest residents, fourth highest wages, lowest stress levels, best air and water quality, and highest life expectancy, I'd say that's priceless. Number eight. Idaho. There are many reasons Idaho has been the fastest growing state for four years running. Boise is one of the best cities in the country, it's the third safest state, and there are over 50 million acres of gorgeous, untouched nature. Number seven, Vermont. Once people move here, they don't leave. I promise that's not as ominous as it sounds. Basically, Vermont has such a high quality of life that no one wants to leave. There's great people, beautiful scenery, incredible infrastructure, no pollution, and it's the fourth safest state with the fifth best schools. Number six, Colorado. The 58 14,000 foot mountains aren't the only thing that's high in Colorado because the cost of living keeps going up. Now, thankfully, so do the incomes as Colorado also has the second best economy. Number five. Minnesota. If you don't mind negative 40 in the winter, I don't know why you haven't moved to Minnesota yet. Because besides the weather, everything else here is hot. With the third best economic opportunity, third highest life expectancy, third lowest poverty rate, and wonderful healthcare and infrastructure. Plus, you get to say, oh. Number four. Washington. Sure, the mist gets so thick that you can hardly see at all, but you probably won't be spending much time outside anyway, since everyone here is a workaholic. I mean, you kind of have to be to afford the rent. The economy continues to be one of the best with no signs of slowing down, however, and the scenery is jaw-dropping. Now, before we get to the final three, if you want us to update this list every year, let's hit 5,000 likes. Number three. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is by far the most educated state, and it makes sense since it's also home to the best public schools and many of the highest paying jobs. Not to mention it's got the lowest property crime rate, second best health care, and so much history. Number two. Utah. Huh? Utah? Yep, Utah totally heard me right. Not only is there breathtaking nature everywhere, Utah's also in the top five in pretty much every statistic that matters, including the number one economy and second lowest unemployment and poverty rates. No wonder Utonians are the happiest residents in the country. Number one. New Hampshire. New Hampshire is nearly perfect in every category. From being the second safest state to having by far the lowest poverty rate and best economic opportunity. Plus, the natural beauty is magical. It sure was a real battle between these 50 states. And while the Granite State may be small, I don't think anyone's surprised it came out on top. <laughs> 